M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning how to use the new Yaesu FT5DR. FXB, so yeah, we've got the Yaesu FT5 and the Yaesu FT3D. So let's have a quick listen on uh, on digital and see what we think of the speaker improvement. So the speaker has been uh, increased in size to uh, 1 watt on the FT5 and it's 750 milliwatts on the FT3. Three, so let's listen to the FT5 first. Wait for some transmission. We're just cross moding using the open spot onto talk group 91. I wouldn't say there's a, I wouldn't say there's a massive difference. I mean KC2 RXV is very low audio. That's the FT3D you're hearing now. Let's hear the other station who's loud. So we're on this one now. Let him come back. Yankee Oscar 3, Lima Whiskey. Yankee Oscar 3, Lima Whiskey. This Yankee Bravo 3, I go down. Okay, so it's still, it's not bad audio at all. Now let's do the FT5. Okay. Like I said, we're on Brownmeister cross moded. So I'll turn the other one up. Now, normally they lift the tab up here. I am turning it quite loud. Now, normally we would, I would remove this rubber to get it louder. All right, well, there you go. So, in summary, I would say that the FT5 is a bit louder and slightly bassier. Um, I wouldn't say it's a massive difference, but enough to for you to be happy with the audio compared to the FT3. But I, I would also say if you've got an FT3, um, you don't need to get the FT5. Um, you know, I mean, it's a funny one. Like, I like the one-touch cam feature on the FT5. I think that's a neat little feature. Um, the styling is a funny one. I, I really like rugged style design, so really you've got to decide on that. I, my preference is actually rugged, but the sleeky design here and the, and the twin LEDs, because that will come to life when the B-band is active, so we can do that, I suppose. I think they're both good radios. I think Yesu have done good. You can see both the LEDs come into life there. The styling of the orange, if I'd never seen, because I've, I've got used to this, I really like it. It's nice, um, the button's lighting up. Now, that's definitely a, a plus at night when, you, you know, when you're in bed, basically, or walking at night, that will look really good. These buttons, I'm not sure. The DSP, does that light up, or is that just paint on the buttons? I never really tested it. 
The screen does seem slightly brighter, sharper on the FT5, but I would say they are both very good screens. The touch is excellent. The Bluetooth apparently in the GPS is better on this one. So I would give the thumbs up for both radios. Um, and I'm tempted to keep them both. I'll just, instead of having a spare battery, I'll have a spare radio because for the sake of a few, because I'm going to give the second hand value of the FT3D is going to be about 250 to 280. I think I'd rather keep it and than, than, uh, than have the money, to be honest, because they're such fun gadgets, aren't they? I mean, you can't get much better at this price range than these radios. So there's no way you're going to remove the grommet on this one. You're just going to peel it up. Um, so apparently you can't, the software, the SD card, it's not all interchangeable software. You are going to have to download and program everything separately. Um, so yeah, there's so much more to these radios, but I thought I'd do this, basically the sound test. So 7.3, all the best. If you like my channel, please subscribe.